What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jason, and in this video, I wanted to go over how we can upload and publish our app to TestFlight to distribute it out to beta testers and whoever you want to have access to your app before you publish it in the App Store. The only thing you really need prior to doing this is you need an Apple developer account, which I believe is $100 a year. You need that, unfortunately or unfortunately, to upload to the TestFlight. And once you have that, then you're, you're, you're good to go. All right, so let's publish our app to TestFlight. We need to go to developer.com, go to account, and then we need to go to certificates. Or no, I think it's identifiers. We need to go to identifiers and you need to hit a plus here and we need to add our app. Uh, we need to go to app IDs, hit continue, hit continue, description, explore. And then you need to add any capabilities that you set up in, our, in your project. For us, we didn't add any, so there's nothing to add. And then for the bundle ID, you need to go to your... So if you're in your project, you're going to click on this. You go to targets, you go to sign in and capabilities. Copy this whole bundle identifier and then you paste that in here. Then you hit continue, register, and it'll show up here. Uh, mine was ex dot explore, which is this one. All right, so this is the first part. The next part is you need to go to appstoreconnect.apple.com and the links will be in the description. So we need to go here, we need to go to my apps. All right, so we go to my apps and then we need to add a new app, new app, uh, and then you name your application. So for us, we'll do explore ATL. <laughs> let's do explore. Yeah, let's do explore ATL. Primary language is English for me. Your bundle ID should show up here. Yep, it's this one. You should have like an, something that's unique, whatever you wanna do. Uh, I'm gonna do 005. <laughs> User access, limited access, full access. Make sure you click on your platform. Or just click full access. You can read here more about it. And you hit create. Oh, it's already being used by another app. Explore the city. Let's do explore Atlanta. Hit create. Now let's go to test flight. We have no builds. So you need to go to your app. You need to go to any iOS. So you go and you click on archive. And then you'll see here on the top right, your, your app should start archiving and make sure that if you don't have a simulator here, otherwise it won't work. All right, so something like this should pop up when the archive is done. And by the way, if you have a lot of windows open, like on your laptop and the monitor you're using, you might not see this because like it doesn't, once it finished, like it, it didn't pop up, it didn't come into focus. And I thought there was something wrong and that's why I built it again. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong. Like they don't bring it into focus once it's done. So just make sure you minimize your window so you can see it. <laughs> All right, once we have it all set, we can uh, click on the most recent one. Click Distribute App, App Store Connect, Upload. All right, we'll hit Next All These, Automatically Manage Signing. All right, once it's ready to go, just hit Upload, and then the upload will begin. This will probably take a second. You know, so it's a, it's a, a project size is pretty decent, so, and depending on your project size, it might take a while. Let's go get a glass of water, come back, let it load, and then... We're almost there. Now our app was uploaded successfully. You click done. We'll just minimize this for now in case we need to come back to it. Let's refresh. Oh, and it's processing. So give us some time to process and we'll be right back. So our build finally finished processing. Now we just had to have to handle some simple compliance stuff. What type of encryption algorithm does your app imply? To bypass setting up the export. None of these. Save. We, I mean, it depends on your application, but if you do have any of them, then then you should fill that out. All right, so now that our app is done processing, we're just gonna go here to internal. Just hit, uh, just create explore and create. And then you want to hit create on this external group or external testing, you hit the plus and explore testers, hit create. And now we're gonna add testers here. Oh, we gotta add a build. So we're gonna add our build, hit next. And it looks like we need to provide all this information. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hide my phone number so you don't call me. <laughs> and we need to provide an email, I believe in our account, we have an account set up. Hit next, what to test, test it all. So now we have to wait until our app is fully reviewed before we can launch into test flight. So that's unfortunate, right? But sometimes it could be just a few hours, other times it'll be like a day or two. And we're back and now you can see the build here it says it's approved and we go back to our external testers. We see the approved build and we can go to testers, hit add, add new testers. Or you can import from a CV if you have like a huge list of people you, that you want to send this. So you enter in your email, 
and then you just hit add and now i'm gonna go look at my email see if i got this i'm recording my screen just so you guys can see what it looks like and then we hit view and test flight it takes it takes us to test flight you should have test flight downloaded on your device i believe it'll tell you to download it if you don't have it then you hit accept install install then boom bam your app is ready to be tested by anyone that's all you need to go through to get your app onto test flight if you found the video helpful please like share comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next one Peace. And this app that we're using in this video to upload a test flight is actually from the course I just released. This app is built using UIKit. We, we brought in Firebase. We use CocoaPods. We handle the user flow. We're able to upload a profile picture. You can change it. You can delete the user's account. You can sign in, sign out. You can actually open up Google Maps from this application to get directions to the place. So yeah, if you're interested in learning more, if you're interested in Swift, UIKit, becoming an iOS developer, uploading an app to the app store. The course is definitely worth checking out. We go through all those things and at the end of the course, you have a full-blown app that can go on your portfolio and even on the app store.